I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss what literal control in ASP.NET. So, what the literal control? So, it is used to display a static text on web page. So, it is generally used to display whatever the contents or uh, inside data in the text or uh, property. So, that will display into the web page and it comes under this namespace or uh, system web. UI web controls and here uh, this is the about assembly so it comes under system dot wave dot dll assembly now let's understand by literal controls so add here this is i'm using a uh, web page waveforms add here the name is literal example dot aspx so add here let's go to the designer part now here you can find or uh, search in toolbox literal control so literal control drag into the form so this is the literal control now here so you can find this all properties of uh, literal control so in this video i am going to uh, show you one simple example about the uh, literal control so add here you can write so whatever the contents you will try it at here so this will display into the web page okay so first i'm going to execute so uh, see at here there is nothing written inside text property so when you execute here you cannot find anything on the web page now here the next is let's uh, give at here some meaningful text at here so add here going to write uh, or literal text property okay so this will display there now here after let's execute that so see add here or uh, the text property that I written literal text property so it's a uh, displaying in the web page now here after the next thing is so this is the text property and here is the behavior here data and mess now here after I'm going to show you one simplest example so add here let's uh, take one button control now let's give some uh, space between button and literal so this is the button now here if you want then here you can change the text property of a button so add here going to write to click okay now here after let's go to the designer now here you can change so literal title so add here i'm going to write to a uh, example of literal Now here, so whatever I did changes on the designer, so that is directly affected to the source. So at this point, button added, literal added. So at here text property, this is written, literal text property. Now here after, let's go to the designer. Now the next thing is, so double click there. Now here, oh, this is the click event of button, it's open. Now here after I'm going to write uh, at here literal. So the ID of the literal is literal one. So if you, if you want to know, then here you can go to the designer, select literal. Here you can find ID literal one. Now here literal dot. Uh, so here going to write uh, a text. So if user click on the button, then literal text property going to change so add here going to write to new literal text now here after let's execute and check that so see add here literal text property now here if i click now here the letter text property has changed so it's a displaying new letter text so this is the simplest example where i'm using letter text so 
A little text is generally used to display the what was the written in the text property so that we display into the uh, browser or web pages. Now hereafter, let's execute once again. So here, right click here, you can find view source. So here, see, it's a letter text property. It's here. This is the title. Now here, input type submit and here name button and here value click. So a little property or that's not comes enter inside like go. Uh, so it's uh, you can see here is the pp. Now it's not come inside any HTML tags. So this is the source here source. So this is the simplest example of a literal control. So by the use of literal control, we can display text into the browser. So here this is the all those things and here this is the simplest example of a literal control in ASP.NET. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.